At least 32 aircraft are taking off from the Museum of Aviation and half the staff is already gone. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams joins us now with details on what these changes mean for the future of the Learning Center. I talked with the museum officials who say they faced a tough decision these past couple of months. Cuts to staff forced the museum to cut at least a third of its collection. And since then, it's been a battle between preserving history and saving pennies. Stopping by the Museum of Aviation has become sort of a tradition for the Lewis family. Whenever a family comes in to visit, we come to the museum to learn about something. Tanner and Shiloh can name almost every airplane in the building. The Today's history lesson takes us to the helicopters in one of the hangars. The difference between a fuel tank and a bomb. P-51 Mustangs. But soon, these planes that have soared through history will be taking off. The Museum of Aviation is letting go of 32 of its aircraft. The downsizing is the result of drastic budget cuts. I'm sad. I love bringing family here to see the planes, to learn. My boys learn so much history from coming. The museum over the years has grown larger, but the staff has grown smaller. In 2011, Museum Director Ken Emery was forced to eliminate half of his employees after a large Air Force reorganization. With a smaller staff, there's simply not enough people to maintain the planes. Some will be missed, some will not be. One that will be missed is the infamous B-52. The massive jet has sat outside of the museum for more than 30 years. But the weather's wear and tear has damaged the aircraft and it's too costly to repair. In time and effort into this airplane, Eight of the 32 other planes and missiles have already left, and while some have landed in museums as far as Hawaii, others will simply be scrapped. If in the future we have a facility to protect them. Emory says despite the knowledge and pictures you can see on the internet. And not be replaced by anything you get online. Nothing beats the real thing. Now unfortunately there's not a lot we can do to save the planes that have already been scrapped. But you can help save the other planes by donating to the Museum of Aviation Foundation or simply by volunteering your time.